Welcome to the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. I am Tanya Hoffman, and this is my fabulous show. And I always have incredibly fabulous guests, like my fabulous friend, Miss Linda Larson Schlitz. Hey, Linda. Hey, Tanya. How are you doing today? Good. I'm Good. so glad that y'all are here to hear about Linda and all of her amazingness. Every time I hear from her, I'm always blown away. You know, there's certain people out there that you're just always glad that you're friends with, and she's definitely one of them. And I'm so glad that y'all are going to be connected to her today. Remember that we have lots going on with the Public Speakers Association. Go check us out at Public speakers with an s association all spelled out.com we're about to partner with speaker hub and so that should be um being delivered really soon so you'll be able not only to show up on public speakers but you'll be showing up on speaker hub directory as well and then don't forget that we've got a fun 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 conference coming up july 1st through the 3rd in vegas and you'll want to be there right before the 4th of July. Hello. Can you imagine how much fun we're going to have? So go to public speakers with an S conference.com to find out all the details. All righty, Miss Linda. So tell us how fabulous are you? What do you have going on nowadays? Oh, well, I am, I'm thrilled, Tanya. And I appreciate the opportunity again to be uh, doing something with you. But I'm just, I'm just ecstatic. I'm about to launch a whole new thing here. It's kind of the same theme that I do because it's my life. It's what I've done ever since I was young, is to help people figure out their purpose in life and then how to get paid to do it. It's that whole career development thing. And I've been a counselor now for 25 years, and I was 15 years at the Job Center for the state of Wisconsin. And it, it just was, it's so rewarding to be able to work with people, help them to find that they've got stuff to offer, and then help them to figure out how to get paid to do that. It's just so rewarding. So another career counselor from the Job Center and I are launching a new program, new to us at least right now as far as partners, and it's called Find Me a Job I Love. <laughs> don't we all want that and you and I both Tanya are doing that now with being able to be at home in my kitchen nook talking to you being a part of my job being my marketing a piece and you're my marketing and it's just so much easier to spend money marketing this way and it's so much more fun than hiring somebody I don't know to go and post stuff so this is just a, a real blessing to be a part of this and I'm really excited to have people join in discovering their gifts and their talents and their abilities and their experiences to be able to move to that next piece and to overcome those barriers, whatever things they may think they have, we've got some solutions for them. So that's what we got going and that's where we're heading, Tanya. That's awesome. I know. I think that most people, if they feel like their talents are being used and utilized well and that they're appreciated for what they can do and not being trying to force into a peg that they don't fit in and then people are like, why can't you do this? Well, I, it's not my expertise. Then I think they just feel very you know, solid in what they're up to. Exactly. And the thing, Tanya, that I know as a career counselor for all those years, what I found, and even in my own life, if you are miserable in your job, you either get sick, headache, stomachache, don't want to go to work, depressed, anxious, or, and, <laughs> after you get all those things, you either get fired or you quit because you're miserable. So part of our little, uh, how we're promoting this is, our workshops are for the miserably employed or the hopelessly unemployed because a lot of us we knew this wasn't the right job for us so we quit and we went off to do what we wanted to do but even myself in trying to get this online business going you get pretty hopeless at times because it's overwhelming it's confusing and None of us are created to do it all. We're not. That's why we need each other. That's why we have things like public speakers associations so we can work together and complement each other and share our gifts. And that's what Amy and I are trying to do. Amy Mish is also a career counselor 
Amy's got better, I don't say better gifts, she's got different gifts than I. She's highly focused. She hones in on, no, 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 Linda, we got to do this first, one step at a time. And what we know as career counselors that we need, everybody needs, we need to know how to present ourselves. We need to know how to market. So part of what we do is to help people, not only I'm doing the gifts thing and figuring all that out, and Amy is going to be helping with, where do you look for that job that you love? Now that you've figured it out, where do you look for it? How do you do a resume? How do you do a cover letter? How do you put your portfolio together? How do you answer those tough questions like, why haven't you been working for the last five years? Oh, I've been in prison. Now what? But what we can do for people is even in that, and if you go on YouTube, you can find my video, uh, the transferable skills of the, uh, the professional drug dealer. Now, people just go, oh my gosh, come on, seriously, how do you get a professional illicit drug dealer a job? Well, it's simple. We minimize our skills, but to be a very skilled, <laughs> getting paid a lot of money drug dealer, it's just a, a, a illegal business. It's the same principles. He, this man had, and he'd never worked a real job, so we had nothing to put on his resume, except he was an independent business owner who had marketing skills. He had managerial supervisory because he had all these people that worked under him. He knew how to do weights and measurements. He knew how to do packaging and shipping and receiving. He, 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 um, he oh boy, he could, he could budget and do the um, ordering. And I mean, seriously, all of these tremendous skills that a top notch business owner has to have, he had them. So I was able to sell him to an employer in a week by doing that whole cover letter and resume. And sometimes you've got to present something that I would not always recommend, like uh, in his, hey, I've screwed up my life. I made a lot of bad choices, but I've learned and I really can do this stuff. Give me a chance. You got to be honest about what you can't do and then let people give you that opportunity. So that's, that's it, it, I'm so excited because there's a ton of people out there um, I mean, one study that they just did at LinkedIn, like 75% of people, well, one even said 83% of people are looking for jobs. They're looking for a different job. They're not content with their job. So, wow, that's big. That's huge. <laughs> I always heard, you know, in December, 85% of the people are ready to do something different, you know, yeah, and I yeah. think it's because they feel like they're underutilized um, right. or not appreciated. Exactly. And so the other thing that we do, the other piece of this is we also help employers to learn how to, number one, hire the right kind of people for those particular jobs. And then once people get there, how to develop a mental health friendly workplace so that people love their jobs. Even if they may not love the task they're doing, they love the environment, they love the people that are there, and they, they feel appreciated for what they can do. So we, we just do a lot to build people up and give them hope. And my acronym for hope, Tanya, is help, opportunity, praise, and encouragement. And that's what we are going to do for people is to give them hope to move to the next level. And it's also the kind of thing that you do in the Public Speakers Association. You give them help you, by all of the training you do. You give them opportunities. You give us praise and encouragement. That's hope for the future. And we all need it. So I hope people will sign up uh, to, to take advantage of these free services and very reasonably priced other services. Yeah, I, you know, it's for me, I think a lot of it is about just getting connected to the groups of people you want to lift you and move you forward, you know, because I think a lot of times we try to do, especially for women, we try to do everything ourselves. And yep. so that never works. And then also we align ourselves with people that are not really good for us, you know? Yes, yeah. yes. That's so true, that's so true. And I know sometimes you try to help so many people that maybe aren't able to, willing to, 
invest or, or do for themselves what they can. And that's one thing I have found is that I can't work harder than other people are willing to work to move forward in their lives. So I can do my part, but they've got to do their part. And I think Amy and I are both really good at empowering people to reach their full potential rather than settle for what other people may think is the best they can do. I, you know, what drives me absolutely crazy is when people are told, especially kids, you're, you'll never amount to anything or you're worthless. And I hear that a lot from people coming that are in the criminal justice system or in recovery, in treatment, mental health, substance abuse, you're never going to amount to anything. And we can't hire someone like you. Oh, come on. It, you know, people have issues and we have struggles and we have life circumstances that causes issues and problems. So I want to help people look beyond the things that they are, are hindering them. Those, um, well, I call it the but. And but is an argument for our limitations. And when you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. But I don't have enough money, but I'm you know, too sick, but I'm disabled, but I don't have a good record, but I don't have a, a work history, but I don't have the skills. It's constant excuses. So I call it a butectomy that people need. And that's one of the seminars that I do is, is how to get a butectomy and get off your butt and quit making excuses to do what you love to do. I know I did a lot of speaking for a while at job clubs. And one of the things, the running theme for, there's usually like one or two people that you knew were going to get a job like no problem. And then the rest of the people were stuck with the butts and the looking in the past is saying, I just want my old job back. I don't want to go find a new job. I just want that job. I love that job, blah, blah, blah. Right. And they just wouldn't let it go. And so of course they were stuck because they weren't looking for the future. They weren't looking to see where were they going to go. Right. Yep. Yep. That, that is so true. And they, and they can't move forward because they can't see the potential. They don't have the confidence. And a lot of people don't even realize that they get to mid-age or they get to wherever and, and they got out of school, a lot of them, or got out of high school, they got a job and then they got stuck. They never even thought about, is this really what I'm created to do? Is this really my purpose in life? Is this what I love? No, they do what they love on the weekends or whenever they can fit it in. That's what they love, but they got to go to this grind job. So what I try to do is to help them step back and really consider what do I love to do? What do I do when I'm not getting paid for it just because I love it? That's what they should be getting paid for. And whatever that is, somebody gets paid to do it. So why not them? Well, and and also, yeah, and what's great too is to look at, you know, most people don't like change. They don't like to stretch themselves, but you've got to, you've got to constantly move yourself forward, even in the position that you're in, you've got to move forward with it because if not, you become stale, you know, and this is what I was talking to a guy about is, you know, he was complaining that, you know, a, a college kid came in, he was in his fifties and the college kid came in and he took my job. I'm like, so you had an entry level position. And of course he was offended by that. I'm like, well, if someone yeah. could come in at an entry level, you did not move forward. You did not progress your position. Right. Right. It, the other thing I hear a lot of here, I'm in Wausau, Wisconsin, and we have a, a lot of Hmong that have come over that were refugees and they're in our community and wonderful assets to our community. But I've heard so many people, it's not fair. Those Hmong people always get the job. Well, do you speak two languages? How hard have you learned? Uh, have you worked to learn how to speak Hmong or, or Spanish? And so they get upset and they're not willing to do what it takes to be competitive in the job market today because it's not the way it used to be. Right. And it is an online market and you've got to accept that you've got to put your resume and your cover letter online. You, Well, I want to do it the old way. I'm just going to bring it in. No, it says right there. You have to fill out online. And it's just people get so stuck that they, to their own detriment. 
I know, poor things. So y'all stop staying and do something. And do you have something you'd like to offer our incredible listeners today? I certainly do, Tanya. They're going to get on our mailing list. We have got workshops coming up. We're going to be booting off a free one. And all of our workshops will be online, on demand, so they can come and get it. They can also get a free assessment. So we'll do an introductory assessment for free to see where are they at. So they can go to um, our new website, which, hey, if you, if you find some things that aren't perfect, working on it. But it's at findmeajobilove.com subscribe now. No, I'm sorry. Find me a job I love dot subscribe now. That's what it is. Find me a job I love dot subscribe now. That's where they need to go. And um, you'll get some information. You'll get an email that'll give you some of the uh, stuff that we're doing and you can get hooked up to come to some of our free events. And we will help you by setting you up with a with it. We'll contact you once people sign up. We'll contact you to do a free interview and get you started. Awesome. All right, everyone. So go subscribe now and don't wait any longer. Also, you know, make sure you send this over to some of your friends, family members that really need to get out of their place of eh, and move forward in life and get them connected to Linda. All right. All righty. Well, thank you, Linda, for being on today. Thank you, Tanya. I appreciate it. All righty, everybody. So come back and visit us again on the Tanya Hoffman's fabulous TV show where we will always have an incredibly fabulous guest to give you real information that will set your day off on a good path. So bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye, Linda.